So we, we've recently launched 4G Plus and throughput per customer is really high comparatively to anywhere in the Pacific, including Australia and New Zealand. The introduction of O3B, it, it's definitely supported the smartphone uptake, uh, mainly because the, the added capacity, the lower latency, enables them to get much better user experience. On 3G data, we saw a five-fold increase in the last 12 months. We're expecting a, a step change increase with 4G because we believe mobile usage is, is the way of the future. You know, O3B has been very, very good for my country. It has helped us to be connected with the rest of the world, given us faster broadband, faster service. It's the fact that we can compete with other destinations. Uh, as you know, many tourists are coming to our part of the world, so we need everything we can get to um, compete uh, more effectively. And that means reliable internet services. 4G will help us achieve that. You know, the Cook Islands is one of the premier tourist destinations in the Pacific. We want to stay, we want to stay that way. Uh, and 4G Plus um, is what our inbound tourists expect. It's the norm. And we've launched it on the basis that we have the international connectivity that enables people to have a good experience. I think it's fair to say that without a reliable broadband service, this country would not be where it is today in terms of tourism. We need the infrastructure in terms of technology to drive that. When the 4G was announced, of course, I went across the road and got my SIM changed over and it's just quicker, you know, so the, I mean, everything nowadays is about speed, you know, so it's it, the, the speed by which I can get information and get inf in that information on my device. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. I just really like to see more devices getting used on a regular basis, so it, the shift is positive. A lot of teachers are nervous of working with technology and now they're starting to get beyond that and realising that they don't need to be the technology expert. And so now that, that's out of the way, they're really starting to have a go and play with technology in the classroom and just let kids run with it and see what, where they might end up with it. 4G would not be um, feasible if we were using geostationary connectivity. O3B gives us that, uh, that connectivity, the bandwidth, the capacity and the latency improvements over geo that enables us to provide the 4G service. And the smaller 500. Oh, it was absolutely exciting uh, the other night when uh, it was officially launched. And to see how fast, you know, the new service is, uh, like uh, 500 per second. It's awesome. And I'm reliably informed that it's faster than New Zealand and Australia. So that's something to be proud of. And it's going to make a lot of difference uh, to my uh, country.